Three things God is doing for you right now. Reset, rescue and release. Andrew Toe, Chattanooga, Tennessee. While in prayer, I heard the Holy Spirit speak three words to me, reset, rescue and release. He then showed me a vision of a cast being placed upon an injured wrist and forearm. God said, I am resetting the broken areas and bringing alignment to crooked places. I will use them to show forth my glory. When my wife and I first were married, my grandmother fell and broke her wrist. When it healed the bone that had fractured was crooked and she was left with the bone protruding. The doctor told her that she would have to have surgery in order to reset the bone in the correct position. Whenever broken parts in our lives do not heal correctly, God will do a reset in order to make crooked places straight. I will go before thee, and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass, and cut in sunder the bars of iron. Isa 45-2. In my vision, I saw the wrist and forearm being placed in the cast. The wrist and forearm enables movement in the hand. The hand is a vivid picture of God's way to bring forth the commanded blessing of provision to His people. 1. He's resetting you by His mighty hand. Reset, provision, the Lord will command the blessing on you in your storehouses and in all to which you set your hand. Deut 28-8. Did you see that? Your hand, releases God's provision in your life. God has commanded His blessing on everything you put your hand to do. Many of you have experienced a restriction on the provision in the last season, comparable to the the injured wrist in my vision. The cast represented God performing a reset in order to release rapid movement of your promised blessing through your hand. He is removing the struggle from your previous efforts and is placing a supernatural grace that only comes from His reset. As I continued to research the hand in Scripture, God quickly turned my focus from our hands to His hand. This is where the rescue and release became clearer. He reminded me of one of my favorite Scriptures. He reached down from heaven and rescued me, He drew me out of deep waters. Ps. 1816 NLT, photo via Unsplash. His arm is not too short to save you. You may have found yourself in waters that are deep, dark and troubled by the waves of life, but God is reaching down His arm to rescue you. He is your salvation. Moses and the children of Israel even sang a song about the hand of God smashing their enemy. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, smashes the enemy. X 15-6 NLT. God is doing the same three things for you right now that He did for the children of Israel. 2. He's rescuing you by His mighty hand. For they got not the land of Canaan in possession by their own sword, neither did their own arm save them, but your right hand and your arm. Ps. 44-3. The writer of Psalm chapter 44 is unknown, although, we can ascertain the calamitous circumstances that are described in the sacred song. The psalmist sings of the faithfulness of God to rescue his children in times past. They eloquently describe that Israel was not rescued by the strength of flesh or by their natural ability. Rather, the psalmist reaffirms that it was by God's right hand, and his arm. For some of you reading this right now, your back is against the wall and you're facing impossible circumstances, you need to remind yourself that you have history with God. The same God that rescued you before is the same God that will come through for you today. God is rescuing you with His arm. In what God is doing for you, He alone will receive the glory. This breakthrough is beyond anything that can be done by the flesh. I hear the Lord say, I am supersizing your miracle, F320. 3. He's releasing you by His mighty hand so I will stretch out my hand and strike Egypt with all the wonders that I will do in it, after that he will let you go. X320, photo via Unsplash. The language of the Lord's hand and arm are first discovered in the book of Exodus. It conveys the strength of God's deliverance, resulting in the release of God's people from bondage. The Lord would have me say unto you, you have been in bondage long enough. Many have been carrying the heavy weight of the sting of disappointment and crushed dreams. Your taskmaster has not relented in his affliction upon you. Your adversary has come to try to destroy you, ensuring that you will never get up from the ashes of hopelessness. I announce to you, my arm is strong to save, and as I stretched my arm to release the Israelites from their taskmaster, so shall I do for you. I am fighting against your enemy, and you, too, will see the strength of my hand. Your hand is being reset to trigger rapid movement on your assignment. I will display to you the great force of my arm against your enemy. Like Nehemiah, my hand is good upon you to accomplish a great work. It fights your enemy on one side and rests upon you on the other. I was ministering on a Facebook broadcast and the Lord spoke this word to me for you. I am breaking the grip of the enemy. His hands have been choking the life out of many, leaving them gasping for air. But, my mighty hands are breaking his hold and there is a divine reversal. Now, my hands will restrict your adversary. 
O oh, breathless ones, I am breathing a second wind of life into you. You will arise and will show forth my glory. Take courage, for since the enemy attacked you both privately and publicly, God is going to bless you both privately and publicly. Asterisk please don't miss our emerging and newly found prophets. Subscribe here. Andrew Toe Ramp Church Chattanooga email, andrew.toe at theramp.org website, www.rampchurchchat. Andrew Toe is an emerging prophetic voice to this generation. Andrew preaches the word of God with fire, inviting God's manifested presence to fall, with signs and wonders occurring in his services. Andrew and his wife Brooke are the lead pastors of Ramp Church Chattanooga, and they reside in Chattanooga, Tennessee along with their two children. Andrew travels extensively, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Wherever he ministers, lives are changed, faith is strengthened, and expectation is ignited. Find us on, asterisk Facebook, click here, asterisk XAPIT, click here. Please forward to all your friends. Permission granted, and you are also encouraged to reprint these articles in hard copy form, as well as sending them to your own email lists and posting them on your own websites. We ask only that you keep Elijah List website, email contact info, and author contact information intact. Elijah List Publications 528 Ellsworth Street, Southwest Albany, Oregon, 97321 www.elijahlist.com Email, info at elijahlist.net, phone 1-541-926-3250